Also MySpace, right? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people don't believe me. Yeah. But MySpace is here to stay. Right. They're here to stay. And it's, yeah, it's our space. The things I use on a daily basis, MySpace. Yep. AOL Instant Messenger. Boom. You can follow me at underscore X, underscore capital X, lowercase O, Uh uh, capital O, another lowercase O, squiggly heart, everything about me. Yeah. Underscore greater than sign. Yeah. Is, which is I, uh, capital S, lowercase S. Z, so is, yeah, yeah, yeah. so everything about me is, yeah, underscore, underscore, yeah, lowercase o, uh, capital O, yeah, lowercase o, yeah, awesome, uh, uh-huh. but three periods at the end. So <laughs> it's easy to remember, yeah, uh, so easy. So I use on a daily basis yeah. MySpace, AOL Instant Messenger, yep, um. My search engine is Lycos. Oh, uh, nice. Dogpile. D- Mine's net zero. Net zero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hello, Nathan. Hello, Jeremy. Are you, are you glad to see me? I am. Good. I am. Uh, I have this new contraption, too. Yes. And yes. It's, it sounds good. You sound better to me. Good. Episode four, what's it called? A New Hope. A new- <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. I think it's just got a nice ring to it. It has a nice ring ding to it. Yeah. And uh, it today we're drinking. What are we drinking? Lagavulin. Nice. Which is my favorite. Yeah. Um, I prefer the 16. And the reason I prefer the 16, the reason I even know about Lagavulin, Ron Swanson. From Parks and Rec. From Parks and Rec. Yes. And very good show. Uh, this one doesn't make as much noise like the other one. Oh, but well, that's a shame. Would you like some? I would. Okay. Oh yeah, we do. We got a toast. So here we go. Uh, to Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. I want to tell you how I got into Parks and Rec. Okay. Do you know the story? You know what? I don't think I do. Okay. Well, I was a huge fan of The Office. Still am. Yeah. You are too. I am. And everyone kept saying, hey, there's this new show on. It's from the writers of The Office. It's better than The Office, blah, 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 blah. So I refused to watch it because people said that. Yeah, because of the intro. And by the way, (laughs) uh, spoiler alert, I love Parks and Rec, Mm -hmm. but it's still not better than The Office. Agreed. You know? So I refused. For a long time. But then um, I had 10 different people come up to me and say, dude, you're Ron Swanson. I'm like, no, I'm not. And first of all, who the heck is Ron Swanson? (laughs) My name is Jeremy. Right. Yeah. Uh, Way off. Way off. Samsonite. Samsonite. (laughs) Dude, I saw a, (laughs) I saw a Samsonite uh, store. Oh yeah. Me and the wife went to the outlets. Nice. And every time I see it, I just want to take a picture and put it on Instagram and just say way off and see how many people yes. say something. Yeah. You know oh, I mean? yeah. Anyway. So they're like, dude, you're Ron Swanson. Mm. I'm like, why? And I had 10 different people come up and tell me this. I'm like, well, I got to go watch this show. Right. So then I go watch the show. And sure enough, I'm very much Ron Swanson. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, what probably made them think about it is my hair is a little similar. The way I talk is similar and very yeah. direct, very dry. He likes breakfast food. I mm-hmm. love breakfast food. Yeah. He cooks steak all the time, as do I. Yep. Cigars, whiskey. He hates a big government. I'm the same way. Right. It's, it's, uh, I, it was me. Burn it, stand up, burn it. <laughs> Turns out, I very much am Ron Swanson. Sure. But you also like the show. How'd you get into it? I did. I mean, I think... Actually, you had said something about it. And because you were talking about Ron Swanson, I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So then I started watching it. And I was like, okay, 
I like this character. Yeah. And uh, but turns out the whole cast was just phenomenal. Phenomenal. So funny. Uh, Dude, Jean Ralphio. <laughs> I can't handle myself with Dude, yeah. Especially with him and his sister in the same room. Oh my gosh. It was so funny. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, not more than The Office, but I do love it. Very good show. So good. Very yeah. good show. Mm-hmm. And you wore your Leslie Nope uh, hoodie. I did. We'll put a picture on for those watching on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we went to DC. On the way to Bobby's wedding. Right. So Bobby had a wedding in uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I was going to say Boston, but it's not really Boston. No. It's Rochester, right. which is like a way across Georgia yeah. of Massachusetts. It's the south of Massachusetts. There's a south. You told me this. There's a south everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. And uh, yeah. so we, we had to go. We drove 17 hours, did we not? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> But yes. So we left. Uh, it was almost the exact same experience as the Oregon Trail, driving 17 hours yeah. to Massachusetts. Right. Nothing against the Oregon Trail. I'm reading a book about it right now. Oh, yeah. Um, and the only difference between the Oregon Trail and our trip to Boston is dysentery. Right. <laughs> Which... <laughs> Which still almost happened. It still almost happened. Some of that gas station food oh my will, gosh. will get to you. It's kind of a weird trip too, because you know we had to, you know we had to wear mask as the first road trip I've ever had to like every single gas station. You had to put a mask on. Yeah. And go. It was it was just a strange trip. But when we were in D.C., you brought your Leslie Nope uh, yeah. hoodie. Um. Uh. What is it? Uh. More libraries. No, fewer libraries, more parks. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So no, and, 2020. And I stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. That was hilarious. Wearing that. Yeah. And we saw some people there and there was like a few there and they were like, oh, I like your hoodie. <laughs> so everybody was digging it. It reminds me when, in, hilarious. when we were in D.C., we went to the lounge, the cigar lounge. Yes. Um, for... It's called Shelly's Back Room. Shelly's Back Room. Yeah. Jer- sounds like a strip club. It's not. Right. That's Shelly's Back Door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Uh, <laughs> we don't go there. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. But it reminded me how when we were in D.C. And. Oh, my gosh. We had to walk. Uh, everywhere you walk, you had to have a mask on. Yep. D.C. And law. Then, and then we go to the cigar lounge. And I have my mask on. Mm-hmm. Nathan has his mask on. We get to the cigar lounge. I take my mask off. Yeah. And the lady comes to me and says, sir, you must have your mask. And I was like, but how am I going to smoke a cigar? <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what did you say? You said something. I was like, You're like, don't, don't be a, don't I, be a smart aleck, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> well, you know, that's sort of the Ron Swanson to me sometimes. Right. Yeah. But what she wanted us to do it was hilarious. Was to wear the mask in, sit down. Until we sat down. Take your mask off. Yeah. Because that made the biggest difference. Because that's the, the rule of the restaurant, too. Yeah. Or most of the restaurants when you walk in there. So you have to wear a mask until you are seated. Right. And it's nothing against mask. I'm not taking no, 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 a no. freaking stance right now. No. It's just, I was like, how, how am I going to do this? Yeah. And Bobby's wedding was phenomenal. Wow. It was amazing. So Gorgeous. Then we went to a, while we were in Massachusetts, mm-hmm. you, you had the idea, let's go eat somewhere local. Remember this? Yes. And we went to a cafe. I wish I remember the name of it. Do you remember? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I can't remember. So we, we went into this cafe and everybody had the thickest Massachusetts accent. Big time. And it was like everything you want. Yeah. And what was funny was the waitress had on a Yankees face mask. Right. And she had on a New England Patriots apron. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> what sports universe are you living in? Right. Where you can be a Yankees fan. And a Patriots, and a Patriots fan. fan. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you met a Dallas fan in that restaurant. Right, yeah, because he saw my hat. Yeah. And he was like, 
go Cowboys. And I was like, really? Up here? And he had the accent too. Yeah. So he wasn't from Dallas. Mm-hmm. He was from he was from up there for sure. And uh, so that kind of surprised me too. But then we sat down to eat and I had some casserole. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, we had, we had it at the, <laughs> for the first time we had it at the rehearsal dinner. The night before. Yeah. And that's where we learned the name of it. Yeah. And then you saw it on the menu. Yep. And it's essentially like. It was a casserole omelet. omelet. It feels like pulled pork. Kind of. Yeah, it does. But it's amazing. And we had New England clam chowder. Oh, and so I, good. The only New England clam chowder I've ever had was in the Gwinnett County Red Lobster. And I assure you. <laughs> so good. I assure you. It's the best. It's not the best. <laughs> uh, so when I when I was at the rehearsal dinner, they're like, "Do you like the clam chowder?" I'm like, "Way better than Red Lobster." <laughs> I mean, what what kind of reference point do I have? Yeah, 